to number 16 Strawberry Close in Farmden, which is a beautiful Cheshire village which straddles the River Dee. Beautiful place to live on the edge of open countryside whilst being only about 15 minutes from Chester and surrounding. Now the property is tucked away at the very end of a modern cul-de-sac built by Stuart Milne Homes. Um, but it is only less than a few minutes walk into the high streets of Farndon with its array of independent shopping facilities. There's a primary school here, also great bus service to the Bishop Heber High School. So it's a great area for families, but surrounding the River Dee is some great meadows for dog walkers. There's a path next to me on my left hand side which takes you into farm fields, which again I know a lot of the local Farndon people use to walk their dogs. So it's a really, really nice area. But you took the way here so you've got no passing front frontal traffic. You've got area to turn your car around. It also means being tucked away at the end, you've got several parking spaces. So you've got parking both in front of your garage, to the front of the house, but you could also then block yourself in at the end here. So I think when you're having a party, you get at least four or five cars into this, this little corner here. So that's the front of the property. It's a really nice spot, very, very quiet, outstanding views to the front of the property, with some great sun, sunrises in the morning. So as I take you through, we've got a double glazed composite entrance door, which takes you into the entrance hall. Now, there's been a lot of upgrades on this house since it was constructed. So as you come in, you'll see this oversized porcelain tile flooring, which has been added by the current clients. Also, this painted wood panelled, half, half wood panelled wall, which again, just gives it a little bit of gravitas and also makes the house a little bit different from the surrounding. So initially, as you come in from the entrance hall, you've got a downstairs cloakroom, come WC. Again, the oversized porcelain tiles continue through to there, really nicely decorated with recessed spotlighting. And then we go into the principal living room, which is a very good size, long living room, really good size. It's over 16 foot long. You've got total privacy to the front where you're looking at the hedge boundary to the front. So you've got a nice green view where you're not overlooking other houses. Carpeted with high quality carpet, really, really thick on the hand. It's a really good sized, well decorated room. Now there's glazed double doors which take you through to a simply stunning kitchen. Again, yeah, over 20 foot wide, so really suitable to have a bit, bit of space for a lounge here, so you've got a bit of, bit of sofa space. Room for a good table. There's two UPVC double glazed windows bringing in loads of natural light, but the centre of the room being these UPVC double glazed French doors which take you onto a westly facing rear garden. Now you'll note from the rear garden, which I'll take you outside shortly, it's been well landscaped as well. When you buy a new built house, you don't get a great deal. So the owner spent a lot of time and money to make that garden look really established and beautiful to look at from the kitchen. But I'll take you through the kitchen first. So the oversized porcelain tiles continue from the entrance hall. Again, the kitchen has been refitted. Um, it says it's only several years old, but the owner's put a new kitchen in. So you've got these lovely dark gray charcoal laminate finished handleless Really stylish unit, finished off with stainless steel edge smeg, microwave and oven. Quartz work surfaces with this beautiful five ring smeg gas hob. You've got your inset of one and a half sink and drainer there. Dishwasher also being smeg. Fridge freezer built in here. A brilliant um, triple bifold doors into a pantry, um, come utility cupboard. And then this amazing full width wine fridge which is fully stuck so make make the right offer we might be able to leave some wine in the wine fridge so from this brilliant sized kitchen really really comfortable sized kitchen we go onto the westerly facing rear garden which offers really good privacy you've got two lawns separated by this central gravel pathway with really well stocked borders and it's well enclosed either side with timber panel fencing we outside tap, outside power point, and I should mention as well, there is an electric vehicle charger to the front of the property. So I take us back into the kitchen, back through into the entrance hall. You've got your normal understair storage cupboard, which I won't show you, but it's got an array of storage in there. And also what's very useful, which has been added by our current clients, is a doorway into the integral single garage. I won't show you next, it's doing what it needs to do, which is making the house look really tidy, but really useful thing, I think, to be able to nip into the garage You've got your boiler in there as well, which has also been replaced since the property was built, as the owner wanted to put a more efficient, high specification boiler in. So the really quality carpet takes you up the first into the first floor into five bedrooms. Now the master bedroom is this one. It has got the most stunning easterly facing views. You can see Beeston Hill in the distance. You've got rolling farm fields in front of you. What a wonderful place to wake up to. And what I really love about this bedroom is it's a suite. 
so you've got your walk-in dressing room in here, lots of built-in shelving, hanging, um, shoe racks in there. And then on to the ensuite shower room, where again, the theme is this porcelain oversized flooring, modern white suite, and it's a big double shower cubicle, just where I'm pointing there, which is fully tiled with a brushed chrome T-bar unit. You've got a nice window in your ensuite as well to the side. Now we've got a storage cupboard, which goes over the stairs, built-in shelving, again, loads of linen shelving. Bedroom here, which is next to the master bedroom, has been turned into a walk-in dressing room, which makes complete sense. So below is bedroom five, being next to the master bedroom, you've got your own walk-in wardrobe. Again, fitted is this full width range of three double wardrobes, and you've got the outstanding views towards Cheshire. So really stunning place to get dressed in the morning, I should imagine. And then at the back of the property here, we've got what I would call bedroom three, which could be a double-sized bedroom, couldn't be used as a nursery, but a double bed would go along this wood panelled wall. Again, another addition with a double wardrobe built in there. And you've got nice views over your back garden. And then there's a nature reserve to the right of a pathway, which is, let's say, the pathway is used by dog walkers, but I think it's a really nice way. I was chatting away outside with dog walkers saying good morning to me. Really nice, pleasant, gets you involved in the village. So then we go into the bathroom, the main bathroom that is. So again, this oversized porcelain floor, flooring continues. You've got a four piece white suite. So there's another shower here, but you've also got the panel bath with, with its own shower attachments, a mixer tap and a wash hand basin with plenty of water effect built in storage around it with this large ladder style towel rail. And then you've got bedroom four which is currently used again as a study, but would make a really good sized children's bedroom. Yeah, I think you could probably get a double bed quite easily on this wall as well, if you chose to go double. Again, views of the rear garden. And then lastly, we've got bedroom two. Great uh, guest suite, I think, if you're having friends around. They've got their own ensuite in here, which is a great size, as big as most people's main ensuite, with a fully tiled shower cubicle just behind the door. And then you've got a good sized double bedroom, and what I love is when you're inviting your guests around, they get to enjoy this outstanding view as well to the front. So you may look at this and think it's just a detached estate style house, but it's more than that. It's been really, really well upgraded. It's in a great spot. I think if not the best spot in the development being tucked away at the end with the views to the front, no one's driving a car past you and the high quality upgrades that the owners added really complete this wonderful quality detached family home in a great village, which is super popular at the moment. So it's book of you, give us a call at Current Homes. Our number is 01244 313 900. Thanks for watching.